Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today I have to show you here a voltage reference that I've gotten off of eBay. It's a, a small little circuit board here, and it's based on the analog device's uh, AD584 voltage reference, and it does 2.5, 5 volt, 7.5 and 10 volt output. Um, there's a number of different uh, of these uh, devices on on eBay. This is a, kind of a smaller one, inexpensive. I think with shipping it was about five dollars, so it's pretty cheap. They do have, there's one called uh, DMM Check or DMM Checker, I forget. Um, and it's really a nice one. It does uh, uh, voltage, current, and resistance. Uh, AC and DC. Uh, it's made in the US and uh, it's a really nice unit. It's around a hundred dollars though and for that price for me just being a hobbyist um, I figured I could probably just buy another um, voltmeter and compare two together and get a consensus of uh, what's correct. Um, but I just mainly bought these just to kind of play around with and see how they how they worked. Um, everything is marked on the circuit board, however, the silk screen is marked white where all the parts go, but where the connectors are, you really have to look closely because it, it is on there, but it's it's green just like the circuit board, so it's hard to see. So I printed this out, and it tells you that, you know, this connector here, the whole thing, all three pins is VN, ground, right here. And I think it can go from 12 um, to 15 volts, I think, as an input. And then your output is over on the other side of the circuit board, V out here and ground. And all three of these pins are tied together, and all three of these pins are tied together. Um, it has a little LED that comes on, it shows you the power is on. It's got a, a diode, a protection diode here. So, um, and then you just move this jumper down here. If you just leave it in that position, it's 10 volts. You move it one pin over, and you get seven and a half. One more pin over, five. One more pin over. 2 volts and that's on this output over here. So that's what that looks like. So I have it here hooked up and it's been running for I don't know over an hour so everything should be warmed up and stable. Um, I'm in the my little lab here is in the basement and it's not real warm down here. It's about uh, let's see the Klein says it's 63.1 so ideally you'd want it a little warmer, probably 68 to 70 probably. Um, there really wasn't any spec on this about what temperature it's supposed to be at, but I figured I'd just leave it on and let it run a little bit to to uh, make sure everything was as stable as it could be, I guess. So I'll put it on the DC volts here, and we have it on the 7.5 volt range right now. And as you can see, right at 7.5 volts. So let me move the jumper. Let's go back to the 10 volts first. I got 10 volts right on the money. We'll move it one more pin over. Seven and a half. And one more pin over to the left. We got five volts and it's 5.004. And just move it one more. And we should have two and a half volts. And <laughs> bam, right on two and a half volts. So um, this appears to be uh, fairly accurate, this meter. Um, this is just kind of a sanity check thing. It's, you know, it's I don't have any scientific equipment to evaluate whether how, how good this is, but um, it appears to be uh, right on the money. So anyway, uh, uh, if you just go on eBay and just search for a voltage reference, um, you'll you'll sure to find these and a number of other ones. Um, this is one of the uh, least expensive ones that I found on there. Um, I'm sure um, <laughs> you can find others on there as well. Like I say, the DMM check is probably a lot better, but um, just for messing around, I thought I'd get one of these. So. Until next time, until next time, this is the Radio Geek.